Hi, welcome to question 10 of the 2022 Junior Cert Higher Level Maths. If you want a copy of the notes I'm working on, just send me an email at shanetry at gmail.com and we might as well get stuck in. So question 10, okay, is, it's a lot of words, let's read through it. Ali and John took part in a triathlon, okay, and they had to complete so um in the triathlon they had to complete a 5km kayak then a 25km cycle and then a 10 kilometer run the diagram below was drawn after both of them had finished the race it shows how many minutes more than john or less than john it took ali to travel d kilometers in the triathlon and D is somewhere between zero and 40. For example, the point A shows that it took Ali less than one minute more than John to travel the first 10 kilometers. In total, it took Ali one minute less than John to finish the triathlon. So I suppose this one here um, is kind of confusing. You see here at the end there, it just it, it shows here that's the one minute less. So this is, if they've both finished here, if that line, a heavy line here, was literally all the way along here, they'd have been exactly running side by side. But at the beginning here, um, Ali was two minutes slower, okay? Then she's catching up, okay? Then she overtakes uh, John, okay? Then for some reason, like, time is passing, but no distance of traveling, so Ali must have stopped. And then she starts moving again, okay, and then they go at the same speed. But Ali's like a minute ahead. So it's, I've never seen a graph like this. It's kind of, it's taken me a few minutes to to make sense of it. And, and it's worth, with a question like this, taking time. Anyway, part A says, did Ali finish the kayak section ahead of John, behind John, or at the same time as John? And just take one box. So look, you have a one in three chance of getting this right by guessing. Okay. But let's not guess. See, they took it. So they, they start off the same together. Okay. And then Ali's going slower in the kayak for whatever reason. Okay. And she ends up two minutes slower. Okay. So it was behind John. Okay. I'll put a tick there. That should be the, the answer to that one. Then part B says... Ali had to stop briefly during the triathlon. John did not stop. State at what distance Ali had traveled when he stopped. Oh, okay. So I assume that was female. Um, and for how long he was stopped. So the distance Ali had traveled. So this is where he stopped. Okay. So that's 25 kilometers. And then the length of time Ali was stopped well, the time is on the y-axis, which is kind of unusual. Um, and that would be one minute as far as here, okay, from here to here, and then a half minute from there. So it's that one and a half minutes. Okay. Challenging. Um, easy if you get it, but not, not so easy to get. That's just the answer to the notes. Now, part C then says, what was happening to John and Ali? as at the point marked B on the diagram. So I've copied the B here. So Ali was falling behind, okay, then sped up in the cycle, okay, and at point B, they're literally beside each other. Okay, now I have the answer on the notes here. Um, there's any number of things you could say here. Um, I said Ali was passing John out, or they were cycling beside each other. And then, like, Ali would have been going uh, faster, like getting away from from John. So let's see. Um, then the table shows the time that it took John to complete each of the three sections in the triathlon, as well as his total time for the triathlon. Use the diagram, fill in the four missing times for Ali. So if it took John 32 minutes in the kayak, it took uh, Ali 32 plus 2. Okay, so I should show that here. 32 plus 2 is 34. Now then the cycle part, okay, um, Ali catches up. So if it took, um, I'll put the cycle here just to make it obvious what I'm doing. So cycle and then up here is kayak, just for the 
You should always try and make your work as obvious as possible. The cycle, it was 38 minutes, but Ali caught up on three, okay, um, and did it in the same time. And then um, Ali did it two minutes, okay, quicker, and then this one minute, okay? So that's this difference here. So it's 38 took uh, John, took Ali, 38, take away that three minutes is equal to 35. It's very challenging, okay? Now the run, okay, um, should be the same, isn't it? Let me make sure. Yeah, if I'm understanding this right, they took the same time <clears throat> um, to do the run, okay? Um, at that time, Ali's one minute ahead, so Ali won, okay? Now, add all them together, um, I have the answer on the next page, I get one or five minutes. So Ali was finished the race one minute quicker than John. Yeah, that's fairly challenging now, and it's worth 20 marks. That's a huge chunk of marks. Um, to try and get something out of. In, so it's a hard question to understand. Um, so, yeah, not much more I can say. Now it says then, John and Ali also ran a 400 meter race. John's average speed was for the 400 was 7.8 meters. So he 400 meters, okay, in 7.8 meters per second. So this is distance and this is speed. Um, it took Ali two more seconds than John to run the 400 meters. Work out Ali's average speed for the 400 meter race. Give your answer in meters per second, correct one doesn't face. So the formula here, speed is equal to distance over time is going to be useful to us. Now we can rearrange this. I can bring time across and time is equal to distance distance over speed. So if I want to work out the time for um, John, okay, the distance he traveled was 400. The time was 7.8. Now that answer, I have it on the next page. Um, the answer is 51.282 seconds. Now they say that Ali took two more seconds than John to run the 400 meters. So it took Ali, uh, 51, whatever, plus two is 53.282 seconds. Now the question is ultimately asking us for the speed of Ali. And we know the speed is equal to the distance over time. We know the distance was 400, okay? We know the time is the 53.282. I've tried to reflect that down here. Put that through the calculator, I got 7.5 meters per second. Which should make sense, like she, in this race, he was, Ali was slower than John. So the speed should be lower. Okay, they weren't traveling as fast, which is why they didn't. They took two more seconds. Shouldn't be too much different. And 7.5 isn't all that much different than 7.8, which we were given in the question. So once you remember the strategy of using this formula, this is fairly straightforward. It's just a matter of there's multiple steps to it, but it's remembering to use that formula. And if you see speed, distance, time, I would suggest writing this formula out on the page. Just see if it, you know, it may not be useful, but usually is. Uh, it might achieve some marks in, in, in depending on the marking scheme. Right, so that's question 10. Um, as always, if you want a copy of the notes I'm working off, just send me an email to shanetroy at gmail.com and please like and subscribe to get access to more playlists. See you on question 11.